studio. It is a beautiful, sunny spring day in Sandy, Utah. Um, today is April 25th and it is 11 o'clock. <clears throat> so you are hopefully joining me um, via live, but if not, you can catch up on this and um, always put your comments or questions in the chat. Um, so today I just want to start out with um, giving you kind of an update about what's been happening in my life personally, because <laughs> it's been pretty dramatic. And then I thought I would share with you today a little bit of behind the scenes of running my small business. So um, many of you might have seen, I posted on Facebook and on my personal Instagram account. Hi, everybody. Um, I My son was involved in a really serious um, car accident this Saturday. So two days ago, he was in a head-on collision and um, the cars were absolutely obliterated. Fortunately, um, my son was able to walk away from the accident unharmed after they extricated him from the car. He had to be uh, rescued from the car with the jaws of life because his entire car was absolutely scrunched. In fact, my, my uh, husband just called me from the place where the car was um, towed. And the just to give you an idea of how dramatic the crash was, um, so these two, my son and the other driver, the other driver was either intoxicated or distracted and drifted into oncoming traffic. So my son was going this way. This other car was coming this way. They were both going about 45, 50 miles an hour. And this car just swerved and hit my son head on. Um, the impact of the car of the crash ripped the tire the wheel the wheel off of the axle um in the car that my son was in so i mean it was just a really super super dramatic crash and closed the road and it was right down the street from where i live and so you know i have lots of neighbors and people we were all out and about doing our thing and lots of people driving by that accident were diverted and um, so anyway, that was my crazy, crazy weekend. And I um, I was super calm all through that experience on Saturday and and uh, but kind of in shock. My son, it, he was in shock for sure. But again, he was protected by divine intervention. I have no doubt about it. You know, I'm a mother who daily I say my prayers on my knees every morning and night. And part of what I pray for is that my children will be safe as they are traveling. Of course, it's a, the, a mother's worst nightmare to um, arrive on a scene that looked like that. Uh, but he he's going to be just fine, um, I think. So fingers crossed. I think he's fine. He's a big, strong boy. And the, the extent of his injuries, like he's you know sore where the seatbelt got him he the airbag hit him in the face and his knees are banged up and uh bruised and cut up with when the impact of the car came into his knees but um the other guy was not so fortunate he was taken away by ambulance to a hospital with multiple fractures we don't know the extent of his injuries yet we um, are praying for him as well that he will um survive with or you know recover fully without um lingering effects, but that is a good lesson for all of us. Do not drive distracted. Do not drive impaired and always wear your seatbelt and always pray to God for protection. And I am so grateful. That's the overwhelming feeling that I have right now is gratitude that my son um, is going to be just fine. So our car was crunched <laughs> and um, my son, he slept in this morning because he's not feeling so good, but I am going to run him up, up to school shortly. But of course, I wanted to get on and say hello to you because this is just one of the highlights of my life, seeing everybody hop on and um, being part of this community. You know how much I love you. And just it really means the world to me that I have this community in my life, even though it's all virtual. It's so fun for me to um, I get excited thinking about what I'm going to share with you and what I'm going to show you. So um, first of all, I will show you my uh, 
I will show you the, the binding that I've picked out for Octopus Garden. Of course, I wanted to get this done. I wanted to get it done this weekend, but um, I was a little distracted. But anyway, you can see it is just this lovely um, kind of purple. Oh, come here. I want you to say hello to my audience. So this is my sweet son. Sit down so they can see you. Okay. <clears throat> So come here, come up. This is Harrison. He is such Hello. a good boy. Oh, I love this boy so much. So um, show him your knees. <laughs> Just show him your knees. That one. That one. Yeah, but he's he's big and strong, and he's going to be okay. So he wants to get to school so he can work on his guitar in wood shop. He's a really good guitar player, and he is going to he's building a guitar. So. Is it possible for you to ask Caroline to run you to school? Oh, if she can't, I know she's busy. If she can't, I'll just be a few minutes. I'm just going to say hello, and then I can run you to school. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so holler at me. I'll be done in just a few minutes if you need me to take okay. you. Okay, love you. Your lunch is in the... Don't have to take it. Love you. Okay, love you too. Your lunch is in the fridge. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Be safe. Love you. Hello. Call me. I'll, I'll come pick you up from school happily. I am a happy mom, happy to pick up my son and drive him around. So he's just 16. He barely turned 16 three months ago. He's had his license for three months and this happens to him. And again, it was not his fault. All of the um, witnesses can attest <laughs> that this was not his fault. But the poor kid, he's only been driving for a short time. And the first accident he gets into is just like this devastating, monstrous crash. So <laughs> poor kid. <coughs> anyway, he's good. So thank you so much, everybody, for your your good wishes and your prayers and your thoughts. And that's why I love this community, um, because you are just wonderful people. And I love being part of it. I tell people all the time, you know, there's a lot of people that lament social media and lament Facebook. And and I'm like, you know what, I'm my view of Facebook is entirely different because we have this community of really amazing, compassionate people who care about others and who are good and kind. And so anyway, that's that. Okay. So this is the, this is the binding. I just want to show you how great that looks. The purple binding um, kind of bl blends in. And then this is the back of the quilt. Um, Last week when I showed you this, there were lots of people who are interested in the kit. So the, the kit will be available. I went ahead and ordered as much fabric as I could get my hands on um, for the background fabric. Uh, so this will be available. Of course, I have to wait for it to be shipped. Um, but then we also have been working really hard to catch up on all of our inventory. As you know, many of you, um, or maybe you don't know, um, so this business is entirely run by me and my assistant, who is my daughter, Amelia. Amelia has, um, she's graduating from college next month and she has 18 credit hours. So she's been super, super busy. And, um, and then my girlfriend, I have hired to help cut fabric and you can see right back there, uh, we just added that inventory. So that is my orange bundle. Um, so for those of you who are looking for the fabric that we'll work with, let's see if my son got out of here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, that we'll work with this quilt. The orange is available again. We've been working really hard to get all of the inventory up to stock or uh, um, in stock. So I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about the behind the scenes of Collage Quilter and um, share with you what it's like to run a small business like this. So the interesting thing is this is a creative business, right? Like I'm the creator of the patterns. I am the creator of the fabric bundles. Like I curate with my daughter together. We select all the fabric that will be in the fabric bundles. Um, so I have one kind of fun big announcement we have also this week worked on revamping the website so the website um, is collagequilter.com and um, i'm really excited about it i've been working on that this week to get it um, a little more user friendly hopefully the navigation is is intuitive and it's a better experience for you so 
not only am I the creator, I'm also our tech guy. <laughs> so if there's ever a problem with technology, um, I'm the one that deals with it. And I'm the one that kind of has built the website on a Shopify platform. Um, we do, Amelia is mostly the photographer, but we do on occasion hire a photographer, which we'll be doing soon again to get some good photographs. Um, but another part of the business is um, we have to rely on, we rely on a lot of, um, a lot of technology to run this little business. So I made a list of some of the things that we, some of the, um, the software that we use. So Shopify, where our brand new website is hosted, um, is the, is the website platform, but we also have another, um, consumer facing platform that's called teachable and teachable is where my paid videos are. So if you are wanting to learn how to do collage quilting and you're interested in a video, a recorded video, you can find all of the recorded videos on my teachable platform. So that's entirely separate because it's just a different, it's a different ball of wax to house video tutorials. Um, so Shopify is the, is the point where you access all of my patterns and books and supplies and fabric bundles. There's also a link to that teachable platform. So teachable is a, is a separate platform for the video. <clears throat> um, then I, I thought I'd share some of the other platforms and um, SaaS technologies, software as a service. So um, ever, if ever you email me, um, Emily at collagequilter.com, that goes into a platform that we use called Groove, Groove HQ. So Groove manages all of our customer um, email interaction. So that's another platform that we use. And um, then, <clears throat> so I, I'm seeing some of your questions and I'll get to some of your questions. I'm going to answer Barbara's right now. So she just asked, how, how do we find you on Teachable? So the way to get to Teachable, the Teachable platform, um, and to get to my things exactly, my videos exactly, is from my website. So at collagequilter.com, now that we've um, updated it, you'll see information about learning and education. So if you click on that learning, there's a list now with all of the links about where you can learn from me. So it has um, my Teachable platform is linked in there, as well as my books and YouTube and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I think it's really easy now to find the Teachable platform. Um, so in addition to, so we've got Shopify, we've got the Teachable, so Shopify is collagequilter.com, we've got the Teachable platform, and then our customer service um, platform that we uh, go to for um emails, email exchange, whenever you email me um, or Amelia, it goes to our Groove platform. Um, and then if you're on my email list, so uh, if if you ever receive an email from my email newsletter list, that comes through MailChimp. So that's another platform that we use um, to run, to do all of my um, bookkeeping and um, some on occasion, I'll send out um, invoices to some customers prefer, like for my uh, retreats, they'll prefer an invoice to be sent to them. So we use uh, QuickBooks online. So that's another platform that we use for our bookkeeping. And then um, I also, that's how I do invoicing through for Checker Distributors. So Checker Distributors is the distributor that I use to sell um, wholesale. So if you are a wholesale customer, um, we no longer sell directly to other shops, but you can, um, if you are a shop, you can go to Checker Distributors and they carry my products. Um, my patterns are written in um, Adobe products. So I use uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and um, I think it's called Publisher. I should double check on that. But um, so those three Adobe products are software that I have on my computer that um, that I use to write all of my patterns and uh, design my my patterns and write my books. So that's software that I use. And then um, Amelia also uses another online platform called Canva. And this and Canva is 
helps us design beautiful emails and graphics. So she does graphics that way. So, um, oh, Vivian just asked, uh, this is kind of an interesting comment as well. So um, she said, so many new newer Facebook users on Collage Quilter don't seem to know that I'm the administrator and creator. So um, can you have a link on your Facebook Collage Quilter to your website? Yes, thank you, Vivian. That's a great idea. I will do that. Um, I appreciate you pointing that out. So I am also the creator and the ad admin for the Collage Quilter Facebook group, which is a large Facebook group, as well as the Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group. Um, I And the differences between those two, I like to have the Collage Quilter uh, group so that anybody can share what they're working on in the world of collage quilts. Um, the Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group is specifically for people who are working on my patterns and would like maybe a little bit of extra support or just um, to interact with people who are working on my patterns. So uh, another really kind of, um, so I wear a lot of hats being the creator and designer of these things. And, and that's my passion, right? Like that's what I love. I love, I love creating things like this. This makes, it just energizes me. It get, it, I look forward to doing my job every single day. Running the business side is also something that I absolutely love. Um, and of course, it's entirely different. It's a really interesting, um, it's an interesting thing being a creator, but also being a business owner. Um, the main thing about kind of running the business side is that I get to solve problems, <laughs> so um, which is fun for me. I love to solve problems. I love to be a problem solver and an innovator and figure things out. That is really, really fun for me. And being a small, having a small business gives me that. Um, it's really stimulating to to do that to solve problems. So anytime there's a problem with a pattern, or if if there's links, or um, you know what. Uh, somebody just mentioned that, um, you know, uh, let people know about your Facebook, let people know in your Facebook group who you are and that you're the collage quilter person. So anyway, I, I love almost as much to run the business side and interact with my customers and figure out solutions for growing the business. Um, I love that almost as much as I love being the creator. So I can't say enough how grateful I am for this little business that I have and the opportunity that I have to make a business out of what I love. I am extremely blessed and I recognize that and I am such a happy, I am so pleased with my life. I have a happy life, a good life, and I'm grateful. So anyway, I am going to... Um, I'm going to look at the comments and the any questions that you have. So um, <clears throat> let me scroll down and answer. If you have any questions as you're watching, go ahead and, and post them here and I will make sure to answer your questions. This is actually a really, really good format for me to discuss your questions and answer them. Um, Sometimes I'm, I'm realizing that I don't have the bandwidth to answer every single question in an email that comes in. Um, so probably the order of if I had a question about something, um, I would definitely ask the question in this live video. And if you can't make it on the live video, then the next best thing would probably be to ask the question in the Collage Quilter Academy. Facebook group or the Collage Quilter group. Um, and then of course you can email me and hopefully I'll always get to your questions, but sometimes I find that I just have a crazy week going on. So anyway, okay, so let's get to, uh, let's get to everybody's comments, questions. It's great to see everybody. This is so fun to see the familiar names. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Yep, I thank you everybody for your kind words about my son. Isn't he just adorable? I love him to death. And I'm really grateful he's good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's get down to good questions. <laughs> Somebody said, you guys have been through a lot. <laughs> we have. Um, so in the last 
two or three weeks. Yeah, my husband, my son was in that catastrophic accident, obliterated his car, but he's okay. So that's good. My mother-in-law passed away um, about two weeks ago. We're actually going up to her funeral in Idaho uh, this week. Her funeral will be on Saturday. Um, but it's it's all good. My We have been extremely blessed in everything. And my mother-in-law, her passing was a beautiful, sweet, wonderful experience. And we are so grateful that we were able to be there. Um, oh, somebody said, I love Facebook if used correctly. It actually saved my son's life a few years ago. That's right. I agree. Facebook has a lot of power for good, has a lot of power for bad, but if we use it in the right way, it's wonderful. And Jan said she has a 16 year old, beautiful granddaughter that might like to meet Harry because he is a cutie. He's a cutie and he's so good. Um, Oh, gosh. Car crashes, I tell you. They're the worst, right? Um, okay, so just looking through the comments, I want to make sure that we... Um, oh, good, Gail. Thank you so much. Yeah, I would love, love, love your feedback about the new website. Um, and listen, all feedback is good feedback. I I have a really thick skin and you cannot hurt my feelings if you had to have a criticism or a suggestion for improvement. I would love to know what those suggestions are. In that case, please do email me, emily at collagequilter.com. If you're on the website and you see a broken link, or if you find something to be confusing or you can't find something, I want to know because I want the website to be a really good user experience. So I'd love your feedback about that. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Debbie just said, girl, when do you sleep? Don't you worry about it. I sleep plenty. <laughs> I get lots of sleep and I sleep really soundly and really well. And I especially love to take my Sunday nap, my Sunday afternoon nap. So that's why I didn't get this entirely um, <laughs> bound. Oh, shoot. Dang it. That's my husband. Let's decline that phone call. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. So somebody said, um, thinking of a narrow border for my art in bloom, do you make your binding and have you ever used store-bought binding? So I always make my binding. I never use store-bought binding, um, <clears throat> because I like to be able to use fabric that coordinates with the quilt and even something that I've used in the quilt. So I don't, no, I, I probably have used this in one of these collages somewhere, um, but it coordinates so well with this fabric. So I always like to make, I always do a double fold binding. Um, and this binding in particular is just, I, this is just, I'm really, really happy with this binding. And I have I, it's been a learning process for me to learn how to bind a quilt really well. Um, and I think I finally got it. <laughs> I think I, look at that corner. Isn't that just, oh, it's just pretty. This is a beautiful binding. It's three inches. It is, um, I'll just maybe run through a little bit. Let's see if I have a, an open. Oh, I, I, I have one more. I have one more edge to do. But um, maybe if you want more binding tutorials, I'm happy to give you that. Um, anyway, so I, I recommend using making your own binding. It's a piece of cake. And then you can always ensure that it is exactly what you need. Um, let's see here. So I love the, the suggestion to have a Facebook a link for Collage Quilter on the Facebook group. I will add that. Um, Let's see. Diolinda, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, said, um, she's joining us from YouTube. She said, when, when, let's see, when will you be getting the steam seam and can I replace it? I just joined yesterday. Otherwise, I will go to Amazon. Um, we just got a big shipment and I know Amelia is updating our inventory. It should be updated. If it's not, yeah, go, you can find it on Amazon. Um we do have new sizes of steam seam on 
uh, the collage quilter website. So now you can buy it in the smaller packages and you can buy it in the three yard roll. So I like to use the roll. I actually have, a, I think it's a 25 foot roll. So it's enormous. Um, with that said, I also had a customer uh, send me some, I think it's Misty Fuse. So my next project, I'm going to be experimenting heavily with another fusible. So I will give you my feedback about that when I have something finished in it. Um, let's see here. Oh, the little old lady in the shoe pattern will be available. In fact, it is all finished. Here's an amazing thing. My little old lady in the shoe quilt is finished. It's down at the quilter and the pattern is written. The foundation panel is printed and those patterns are all packaged up and ready to launch. So I feel like I want to get the quilt back get it bound and get some pictures, but it will be available very soon because those patterns are, they are ready to go. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so someone just asked a question. She said, WordPress, which is another platform, um, seems to be really difficult to get to work properly. My daughter is exhausted by it. What service do you use to create your website? So I have actually had a, quite a bit of experience using different platforms. Um, WordPress was originally created, designed specifically for um, blogs when that was kind of the main thing. Um, so WordPress is a platform that was specifically for blogs. I have only used it a little bit, but I do find that it is difficult. So um, another platform that I've used is Wix. Uh, Wix is a great little platform. However, if uh, Shopify seems to be really the premium. That is the Shopify is the platform for people who are serious about e-commerce. So, um, and so I highly recommend Shopify. Um, unless you're just starting out, Wix is an extremely easy to build, you know, using your own, uh, ingenuity, your own photographs and, and whatnot. So Wix is a good one, but if you're really serious about e-commerce, I would recommend Shopify. So I hope that's helpful. Um, so Allison just said it would be great to purchase your kits within the UK. Um, thank you, Allison. I will. I do ship worldwide. However, I know shipping is super expensive. Um, I need to look on. This is one of those problem solving skills that I need to employ. I need to figure out how to ship worldwide and make it not so expensive. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know if I can figure that one out. Uh, let's see here. Time management. Um, Diane asked, this is a really good question. Uh, do you only allow a certain amount of time per day to each task? So um, my time management is, um, yeah, I'm pretty darn disciplined about time management. Um, and you know, running a business from my home, being a creator, being a mom, being a wife, having a social life. Um, I, I am very interested in maintaining my own personal health and my mental health. And um, so I, I, I am really specific about my tasks. I'll just tell you one thing I learned, I learned last week and, and I've learned this over and over. Um, my tip for the day is I exercise on a regular basis for my emotional health and for my physical health. Um, and it's nice to be able to fit into my jeans. But if I don't do that first thing in the morning, I have anxiety and I don't function very well. So um, that's the tip of the day for Emily. Remember that do not schedule appointments <laughs> before I get my workout in and um and i happen to love like i love to hike i love pilates i love skiing i do pilates i'm trying to do that every single morning and then later in the afternoon after i've done my work i will also go out i'm hope hoping to go on a bike ride today later this afternoon or evening so anyway that's a that's a tip and i can i'm happy to sh share more time management tips but um yeah i i will be very careful about the amount of time that i spend on every other task 
the most important task for me is my creative task and my high level business thinking, figuring out, solving business problems. So those are the two most important things um, in my business. Um, so here's another one. Facebook users usually ask where to purchase your patterns and kits. Pointing to them would be very helpful. So I, I sure will do that. Thank you so much, Vivian. I really appreciate it. Um, so someone just asked a question. What's your favorite collage that you've created? I, I actually think it's this one. <laughs> I, I love this quilt so much. I love the creatures on it. I, the process was super interesting. It was a really great learning experience for me. Um, I learned so much about color in this. So I, I think this is my favorite quilt. <laughs> this is my favorite. And that's so fun for me because it makes me think, oh, I'm going to get better and better. I, I have lots of room to improve. So anyway, this is my favorite. Um, also, I, I will mention many people would like to have a, a webinar, um, a class about making this. So I have scheduled that and I need to announce it. I haven't announced it yet. It's on my calendar. Um, I think that we've decided that we're going to do it on Thursday, May 5th. We're going to do an octopus garden workshop. I will be making some announcements about that. So watch your email um, and in the Facebook group. So if you're interested in that, that's coming up. Um, let's see. Um, here's another question as to the octopus garden kit, getting the pattern so that I can begin making the sea creatures using my stash. But I think I will not be satisfied unless I can make the quilt using your background fabrics and backing. Will the kit be available to get those fabrics? Yes, it will be. However, it will be very limited. I, um, I have only purchased enough to make a certain number. I just don't have endless um, bandwidth and I, I can't worry about that entire, you know, I, I can only do so much because <laughs> it's only me. So we will, that kit, all that fabric will be here. And the other kind of tricky, hard thing about it is that one of these pieces of fabric, this one in particular, um, this is not available anymore. So the only place I could find this was on Etsy. So this is an Anna Maria, and it's just been one of my very favorite fabrics. It's just, I've had it in my stash forever. Um, and so as soon as people were asking, I went on free spirit to see if I could find it. It's out of stock. They're not producing it anymore. And it's an Anna Maria Horner. Oh, the name of it is in the pattern. So if you can find this fabric, if you don't intend to buy the kit, um, or you're not able to buy the kit because it sells out or whatever, uh, it's written in the pattern. You might be able to find it on Etsy. The rest of this fabric I have coming in bolts um from free spirit and art gallery i just got my art gallery shipments so anyway um that's that and let's see what else there is oh Jeannie, thank you um she asked have you done a video on how to use ink tense pencils on the work um i have not done a specific ink tense pencil workshop. I have done that in different um, different uh, webinars. So I think I might have done it. I can't remember if I did it in that. I know I did it in the Wee Green Beasties because the, I used ink tense in there. It's also, I believe, there's some information about using ink tents in my second book, the Take Flight book, but um, yeah, I need to do that still. So thank you for that reminder. We'll get it. Um, so again, somebody, so I, I need to do a video on ink tents pencils. Um, you can see the ink tents pencils that I used right here. And in the pattern, there are some photographs and kind of explains about it, but we'll include that in the webinar class as well. Um, so someone just asked, are you going to sell the old lady in the shoe pattern? Yes, it's ready. It's almost ready to, sh it's, I just need to launch it. I'm waiting for it to get back from the quilter and um, get some pictures. 
So uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, feel free to substitute fabrics because, I mean, for me, that's the fun of this, guys. If you can't find exactly what you're looking for, um, feel free to substitute the fabrics. There is a lot I would say about the fabrics. I, I love the fact that there is this hero. I'm going to call this the hero fabric uh, because this, it, this provided me with the color palette for the quilt. Um, even though I had done all of the sea creatures first before I put them together with this, and you might be able to do the same, you will be able to do the same thing if you get your sea creatures done first. Um, sometimes it's really helpful to take your little creatures on their parchment paper to, sorry, loud, my window's open. Um, sometimes it's really helpful to take your finished uh, collage pieces that are still on the parchment paper to a quilt shop and then you can pull out fabrics and see what's going to work with your with your project um somebody just asked a question will the patterns that are sold out on website be available again yes we have um we have hundreds of patterns that we are working on packaging right now so we will have all of them available again soon so anything that is sold out on the website right now which I know it's a lot and I apologize. I apologize. That's one of those problems as a business owner that I'm trying to solve, how to avoid selling out and keeping inventory in stock. I'm really sorry about that, um, but they are coming because we're working on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So um, someone asked, do I do a straight grain or a buy it? bias binding. Um, I do it on the straight of grain. So the straight grain uh, binding. So Diane says she likes Misty Fuse. I'm really excited to use that and give that a try and give you my feedback about it. Um, let's see here. Oh, Barbara, thank you. That might be the solution. Flat rate boxes for global shipping. Okay, I'm going to look into that, Barbara. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So Sherry just asked, when is the next sew along? We are going to launch that sew along very soon. So think May flowers, April showers bring May flowers. And um, I will be providing details about that very soon. I've given you hints in previous videos about what we're doing. So um, anyway, daily exercise is the key, guys, right? Looks like we've got some other people too. Uh, let's see. Mary asked, are you going to bring back foundation panels that have sold out? Yes, they are. They are, have already been ordered. Um, Barbara, yes, I will have a kit available, um, for the octopus. Um, so Mickey asked a good question. Do you put together the background blocks first, then apply your collage? Yes. Um, so that's exact. I did the collage pieces first so that I was not restricted in any of my fabric choices. So this fabric was just whatever I wanted to use. Um, after I had all of my little elements, my creatures created, then I started looking at fabric. And that's when I came up with this hero fabric that I just, I love. And once I found that too, that had all those, uh, all the colors in it then I pulled in additional fabrics. So that's how I selected it, laid it all out. And then um, once I was happy with kind of the composition and the placement of everything, then I sewed the background together and they're just 10 inch blocks. Um, so super, super easy. Uh, and then once I had that all done, then I applied the uh, collage pieces and pressed them down. So somebody said, I'm hoping for a ladybug pattern. Well, you will not be disappointed. I'm excited for my ladybug pattern um, that's coming with the, the upcoming quilt along. All right. Um, Terry, yes, there will be the, the May quilt along. Watch for it. It's, I will be announcing it very soon. Um, okay. I think, I think that's it. And we are out of time. I don't want to waste any more of your day. You guys have stuff to do. I have stuff to do. So let's get to it. 
I hope that you all have a wonderful, safe, healthy, productive week and that you are, um, that you have a happy, happy week. And I will check in with you again very soon and um, love you all. Okay. Have